Hello and welcome back to World of Tanks. We are here on Prohorovka. Do I get that right? Yeah, Prohorovka. After 17,000 battles. I still don't remember as many names as I should have. Except from Himmelsdorf. And Fishman's Bay. Because that was my very, my very, very, very first video was made on that, so I just remember. Ah, but. but yeah, we are driving the Fosh Tier 9 French Tank Destroyer. Definitely one of my favorite Tier 9s. Don't really know why. Uh, might be just because it's fast firing rate and stuff like that. But yeah, we are on Prorovka. Uh, T49 obliterate the, our T49. One shot, eleven hundred or something. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't look at it at that time. But uh, yeah. So uh, this is first of all a well. It's it's a sixty-four percenter. So it, it's it shouldn't be any problem for us winning, right? Right? No. Okay. Uh, yeah. But I said uh, this is probably one of my favorite tier nights. It is mostly because of the fire rate, I said, and um, well, the speed, of course, the speed, of course, it, it's fast. I was, I was gonna say armor, but uh, well, from time to time, if you are, if you're fighting against either bad players or um, or your hull down, then it's it's possible, it's possible, but it's definitely a good tank destroyer, definitely a good tank destroyer. So, um, it's not gonna happen a lot in the start here. When I turn here, I place myself so that I am shielded. If something pops up over the ridge here, I will not get spotted. Of course, oh, I got a kill. Oh, that, that, was actually a, that, that was actually a good shot I did there. I shouldn't have moved away. <sighs> dummy me, dummy me. Well, I got spotted, but since nobody has already been spotted on the, um, on the right side there, over by the hilltop, then I just took the chance and just reverse back up again. But there is someone up there. And yeah, now there are three. Three Russian tanks. Ah, that shot flies a little bit too high. I ah, just gotta make sure that my phone is far enough away. For once. And I'm not doing the same mistake again as I usually do when I do the, the recording and stuff like that, that I have my phone way too close. And then some static sound shows up. But yeah. So this is gonna be quite a slow couple of start minutes, because some of the shot just doesn't connect, others just don't go where I aim. This one will. And a healthy 400 damage. Nice. Now just to prove that the M46 is not the Pershing. Does not have the passing turret, which we will see very soon. But I just penetrate the shot right in his front of the turret. I'm thinking here of going to help the Titan. But I. I kinda want them to come up. I don't wanna move away from this place. And here we go, the M46KR. No. Alright. Oh, the T54 is back. Nope. Not gonna, not, not getting able to get on the Can't get a shot on that guy. Yeah, uh, this Panther annoyed me quite a lot. Like right now, he is positioning himself behind me. Like I don't find that too frustrating, but I am now sitting in a bush trying to take cover. So I, <laughs> like I am a big asshole there. But I do with some kind of purpose to try to make him move away because he is. He doesn't have as good camera rating as me. And a good shot in T54 there. Oh, and here it comes. No, no, it's not the one. But yeah, uh, when the Panther 2 shoots, he gets spotted. And since he's hiding behind me, and my switch pops up. There we go. There we go, I'm muted in the and as well now. <sighs> but yeah. Since the Panther 2 is now hiding behind me, if some if I'm unspotted, so I, I'm I should have written to the Panther 2 to move away or something. But I I was saying that a little bit in time there, so I just n tried to nudge him and make him understand. But well, he didn't. 
because if he shoots and he gets spotted, then the guys from the hill will hit me instead of him, probably. And that's bad, and well, luckily he moves on, moves along. He almost slides down, but uh, yeah, he didn't. So, uh, now, it's now the replay is actually getting good. And, uh, well, 3-5, so they're in the lead. 64 percenter, funny how that can go. Now, in this position, the Forge is quite strong. At least, for, against these tanks. They weren't able to penetrate me at all. As we see here, I can pick up a second kill on the I-6 there. Oh, look at that, T-54, mod 1. Can I get him? He stops for a second. Nice, that's kill number three. And uh, this is a bit risky here, the Type 59. Ah, shoots over the back of the W set. Uh, Type 59, do you need assistance? It's spotted, of course. And uh, well, this is a bit fun. So uh, I yeah, come in for the ram. Four and five. Five kills. Uh, <laughs> easy double kill there, almost. Now, in pretty much through the entire replay here, if you are paying attention to the chat as well, like there, uh, the i3 and, and a couple of others are quite like loudly. <laughs> but uh, that's world of thanks for you. T44 is getting uh, stuck in there as well. The I3 started from the from the pretty much beginning of the match by uh, writing Id idiots and stuff. But mm. all right, so it's 8:10. Not the best. I'm hiding out again up in a bush here to avoid spotting until I actually need. Can I get him? Can I get him? No. The Panther, Panther 2 guy. Now that Panther 2, he is not done yet actually. He is gonna pop into view one more time. So I'm loading HE now because I can see the Ramatal Borsig there. And I want to take a shot at him if possible. But of course he gets unspotted. So instead of just reloading a new shell, I just plant an HE shell. And it surprisingly does over 200 damage to the side of Nasty Eye, which is surprising. Alright, the SU is there, he got unspotted, but I do believe that I pointed in the right direction. Yep, yep, it was. Hit him. So we can add that. Oh, we're going to have kill the T T44. Alright, I am not going to penetrate the upper plate of the SDI in this range. So I load APCR to make sure that I penetrate. So far, 4000 damage and 5 kills. Which is quite decent. So I'm still shooting here. 330 meters with an end, end shot. Still didn't get spotted. And there came the Panther 2 once again. It's like he doesn't even know I'm here, and I, I'm not sure if he was the one that spotted me there. Or if if it was the SDI, like, I don't know how that works actually. I actually don't know how that works, if like he can spot me by being spotted there. But I don't know, I don't know. I actually don't know, that was a good question. But yeah, I got shot from, shot from the Chi Re, which then have relocated behind me, so I think, I thought, nope, screw that, I'm getting out of there. So that's actually the first, uh, like, damage I've taken from uh, a shot, from a shot. Now this T-37, he played like a boss. Without him, we would have lost this. I just did the damage, he did, uh, like, all the spotting damage, stuff like that. Alright, I'm gonna hide up behind this tree here to avoid spotting. So I can sneak in the kill on the ice tree. There we go, lovely. And the SU. Uh, that was a bad shot by me, that was a bad shot. Will that cost me a kill? Will it cost me a kill? Uh, nope, 
Got him. That's good. That's seven kills. We're getting there. We have re retaken uh, like it was like 9-11, like for about a minute ago. But we managed to take uh, take the score back, and I still I still have a lot of my HP left, so uh, this shouldn't be a problem, really, should it? Take a questionable shot there uh, against the Ramotar, the Borsig. Hmm. Now where are the rest? Now there is there is still a tank that hasn't been spotted at all for this game. That's the SU-152. Where is he? I mean, he could be hiding, just sitting there, sitting back there. Oh, oh, he's there. Now with uh, the very good view range of Russian tank destroyers, as we know, at least the this tank destroyer and some a lot of others too, of course. So uh, yeah. I ah, just noticed that I'm actually not recording the game yet, so uh, this is gonna be fun. Trying to just record the game later. And then, uh, alright, well, I'm just gonna screw that and just keep talking and then just overlap it later. So it's, well, it's gonna be fun, don't worry, it's gonna be fun. Well, yeah, we are in the lead for, for the first time since this game started. So yeah, uh, we for the moment has more health them as well. Woohoo! It's the STI, the Ramadel, and the Chiri that are left now. Now, T37 is again buzzing like hell. He got shot from the STI, I do believe it was. The small explosion there. I shoot a little bit clutch. Three minutes. So I, I miss him. But the second shot connects. Alright. Oh, that's my phone. So, yeah. All the time the phone. And I get him as well. Which gets my 8th kill. The T37 did an amazing job there. Just circling around the STI for me to. And the Chiri kills the Canavan. Which was hiding on the hill. I just gotta thank this uh, T37 in game here as well. Because he did a bloody amazing job. From start to finish. Except for when he got stopped by Ramta Borsi. Like there. So yeah, he got stopped, so I need to avenge him. Which gives me my ninth kill and 7,000 damage so far. Which is quite good, I will say. Two minutes. Alright, so yeah, uh, you can probably see what's gonna happen now, right? I get some praises from my team, which is always fun. Ah, uh, you see me rolling. And can it be a pool's medal? I was thinking of ramming him, but uh, then, I, then I thought, oh wait, then he can actually outturn me, maybe. So yeah, 10 kills, I'm gonna put up the post game stats. And I gotta record the whole thing again later. Silly me, and I'll see you in a second. And we are back this time. I remember to press the record button. Lucky me, right? Well, here we go. And the post game stats for the first game. Well, I got a pulse medal, and it was an ace tanker. No big surprise there. On that one, high caliber, and of course, the top gun. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, yeah, damage wise, uh, quite well. 7543 damage, 10 kills, and 1550 base XP, which was quite fun. Where second place was the Carnarvon with 2002. Best one on the enemy team was the Ramadan Borsig. So yeah, quite fun stuff there. Detail reports. Now, in the end, of course, I did shoot like just a couple of random shots, so yeah, uh, just for trying to scare him or just hitting him in on the move and stuff like that. But yeah, shot 36, hit 27, penetrated 25, so there was only two shots there that didn't penetrate. Now, 
I don't remember which one it was. I do not. Whatever. We well, yeah, can you go back and just take a look at it. But yeah, uh, that 7,500 damage. But I have been sniping a hell of a lot, which is quite good with the fush. So I did 5,321 damage over uh, in a distance of over 300 meters. Got hit six times, two of them penetrated, which was the cheery. And that's the only actual damage except from the ram on the W set uh, 111. Yes, 111. Uh, well, my armor blocked 1160 damage. I damaged 14, so there was one tank I didn't hit. Which uh, I don't know what it was again. I think it's a T49. I don't think I shot the T49. No? Did I? I don't know. Wait. What is it? Where's the T49? I'm actually gonna check that. Uh, they had a the, the T49. Don't know. I didn't kill him. So, yeah. But, yeah, 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 where were we? Yes, um, spotting damage. Not so much. We got 19 defense points where the blind shot on the uh, SU and been driving well, uh, a small amount with uh, a couple of premium shells that I shot, a couple of APCR at the STI I uh, still earn money, off, so that's good 20,312 with the ammunition cost of 52,000 so I'm still happy while I get in plus there, so oh, that's nice with a experience of 2325 and I'm also gonna check out our T37 he actually didn't get so much spotting damage well he still I will say saved the game without him we would probably not have made any further but thank you so much for watching this was a good match I think at least for me it was the, it's the best match I've ever had in the Fosh so uh, and it was it was nice goodbye anyway from the Fosh because I now got the Fosh 155 which I find quite interesting to play it's, it's fun, it's fun tech. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys.